Rob, what would you say are both the opportunities and the challenges of blogging? Well, a challenge is finding places to get your get the blog noticed. Um, so they're uh, constantly like scratching your head. Okay, oh, I'm getting this uh, audience, but where can get more? Um, secondly, it's how do you get people to um, to uh, comment? <laughs> write comments. I have friends who they talk about what they remember they were doing, but getting them to actually sit down, there's, there, there definitely is a mindset when it comes to not only blogging, but to commenting. There's this sense of being, being fearful of exposing yourself by um, writing something, and then it's there forever. So I mean, as I've done blogging longer, I realize that this is getting people to make comments is, it's, it's the nature of the beast. I mean, if, if I was getting a million um, viewers a month, like you know, the Daily Beast or Huffington Post, even they, you know, maybe they get 30 or 40 comments per article. I mean, every now and then I get one or two. Um, so I've learned that that's not, not become discouraged by that. Um, and then an, another challenge is, to, is, <laughs> is, is trying to find others who are as interested in blogging as I am. I found that perhaps it's a generational thing, my circle of friends has no interest in, in blogging. They're, they haven't even really embraced Facebook or, or Twitter, um, so I've had to find some new, new friends who are into blogging. Um, and, and I can you know, understand where my friends are coming from, because before I started blogging, if I heard someone was writing a blog, I probably would have sat back and rolled my eyes as well. So Rob, with your uh, varied and deep background in both traditional media and digital media, where do you see it all going? Where would you say the media landscape will be in like five years? Well, it seems like everything is um, is gravitating towards digital. Um, for instance, you know, I subscribe to magazines, but in reading them, I just it almost seems like the print editions are an afterthought. It seems like they're always trying to find ways of getting you to the the website. Um, and uh, I know just by looking at uh, following my friends on Facebook or Twitter. I learned so much about what's going on in the world just by that. So I know about TV shows because of Twitter. And I, I read reviews of friends from Facebook. Um, so it seems I, I spend so much time with those as well. And not just because of um, for the blog. It's just because it's become so you know, useful and enjoyable and informative. So um, I, I see digital is so, is, is you know, going to continue. Um, right now, I'm, I, because I'm immersed in Twitter and Facebook, I just assume everybody is on it. And, and so I'm shocked when I read that that's not the case, that Twitter, like 6%, 7% of the, of the U.S. is actually on it. Um, so I'm always surprised that I'm actually at the, the, the leading edge. Rob, thank you so much. Uh, it's fascinating. I've learned some things about digital today. Well, I, I, I was excited to come here because I, I was hoping I could um, transport my enthusiasm about what I, I do to, to your, your viewers. Thank you for, for having me over. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to put a link to your two blogs. Oh, please, yes. History Absolutely. as you experienced it and Zeitgeist. Yes. And they're both part of the Starry Eye community. Yes.